Hi there, welcome back to the Win a Pageant Podcast. I'm your coach, Alicia Darby. In this episode, you're gonna meet my friend and inner circle client, Jennifer Garrison. And Jennifer is such a sweetheart. Today, she's gonna be sharing with you how she has raised thousands of dollars for her scholarship fund in order to fund people for all types of educational opportunities. And she did it through t-shirts. She's gonna tell you how she did it and how you can do it too. So without further ado, here's Jennifer Garrison. Hi there, Jennifer. I am super pumped to have you on the Win a Pageant podcast. It's so, I'm so happy to see you. And look at that background you got, girl. I love yeah, it. Thanks it's, so much. It's so Gotta on have brand. my born to be queen and my tiara and so t-shirt. beautiful. I know, like a like a true pageant queen. I love this. And it's so what you are doing right now in the world of community service, but specifically along the lines of fundraising, I just think is absolutely incredible. I, I love that I have a shirt too. We're gonna be talking Yay. about your shirts here. Thank you for sending this to me. It's such a of special course. treat. I love yes. it. So can you share a little bit about your story? Maybe kind of tell the listeners a bit about how empowerment through education even came about. Yes. Yeah, so thank you. Um, so I came from a low income family. Um, we didn't have much, you know, for for me to continue my education. So I always struggled, like, how am I going to go on to college? How am I going to make my dream come true of being a nurse? And I felt I filled out countless scholarship applications. I mean, hundreds. So I was lucky enough to get a few in order to complete my dream of becoming a registered nurse. And, um, and now I decided, um, sorry, I, I came across an amazing group called bring it, push it, own it, in which we help, uh, young girls and boys get some leadership skills, empowerment through themselves to go on to become great leaders in our society. And, I thought, hey, what are we doing beyond after they turn 18? Because the age group is 9 to 18. So after they graduate high school, what are we doing for them to kind of help, you know, get them lift off into their next step in life? Mm -hmm. And I said, we have to do a scholarship. I always was in need of a scholarship. We have to set this up. What can I do? And they're like, it's all yours. Go ahead and set it up. So I thought, okay, what am I good at? I love fashion. I love to kind of, you know, just play with things. So I designed these t-shirts and I wanted to have a positive message. So this one is hashtag love yourself. And then I have a tank top, hashtag girl power. That's the one I have. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And then I have a men's shirt is ladies first. Oh, cute. I never saw the man's yes. shirt. I love that. Yes. Cute. So, and it's kind of got like army lettering. Yeah. So, you know, kind of more manly. That's right. So, yeah. um, I just started, you know, local things. I, um, got a hold of a friend that I went to high school with. He has his own t-shirt business. And I said, Hey, can you make these for me? He's like, absolutely. And, um, just started like with local, um, craft bazaars and luncheons, um, and just started from there. And then I, um, got my own website going and started, you know, doing online sales. Yeah, it's so cool. Yes, yeah. The website is empowermentthrougheducation.net. Um, yes. Yeah, so if anyone's interested in this, I, it's so cool. And, you know, you've had some a significant amount of success even in the last six months. I think you raised yes. over $1,000, right? $1,500, is that right? $1,500 in six months. That's all I've been, it's all, it's been six months. It's and so cool. already got $1,500. Yeah, and to think about how far that will go for a child through education, that is just an, such a leg up. And, you know, to your story about educate, you know, my family was in education. My mom was a kindergarten teacher for years and years. My dad was a teacher and then also became a principal. I actually got an undergraduate degree in education. So education is like, you know, something that... Just in your blood. That's right, exactly. And it's such a huge value because of the impact that I know that it can have. And it sounds like that was something that happened for you too, that getting that scholarship money is a thing that catapult you into your career. Yeah, and I just wanna you know, also emphasize that it's not just for college. I wanna make sure people understand, you know, things cost money to get certifications or cosmetology school or whatever they're interested in. I don't wanna put them in a box. Whatever their dream is you know, to get to where they want in life, I wanna help with that. That's so cool. 
So with the organization that you are currently partnered with, have you been able to already give any of the scholarship money out or are you kind of saving it now and you'll accept applications later? Where are you at so far? Yes. With that? So, so we're accepting applications um, until December and then we're going to give it out in the spring. Oh, so, great. yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. Oh, and the I instructions just... are on my website. <laughs> oh, great. Of how they can apply. Perfect. Yes. Oh, I love this. This is cool. So now one of the things that I find fascinating about any pageant woman is when you are able to fundraise because I've I've found that oftentimes the type of women that are attracted to pageantry tend to have very creative ideas. They're very, you know, like as you mentioned, you love you love uh, fashion and the design and all of that thing. And it's sort of unusual to have that aspect of a person also blended with the financial wisdom of a person. You know, those are kind of left yes. brain, right brain type of thing. And you have both it of those. Is. And I think it's so cool that you've been able to then use your skill set with fundraising to raise funds as a part of your legacy project for the work that you're doing with this partner organization and I'm sure others. And you mentioned that this is sort of a system that I'm sure it even took a lot of trial and error um, that, yeah. you know, designing the things and, and coming up with it. But now if somebody else were interested in doing this similar kind of work, like maybe they also have the idea of designing T-shirts and, and want to do it as a fundraiser, where should they actually get started? So first, you just need to concentrate on what you're going for. You just need to start simple. So what do you want to say on the shirt? What are you trying to convey? So, mm -hmm. and that starts with, you know, the basic sayings on the shirt from the colors to the type of lettering. So just start simple. Mm -hmm. So first just think of what does the shirt want to say? What are you trying to convey? What kind of message do you want to send out in the world? Yeah. So just start there. And then um, you kind of reach out. I, I love to do everything local as much as possible, you know, really support local businesses. So reach out to your friends, um, even just a simple Facebook message like, hey, I'm designing shirts. Does anyone have a T-shirt company they would refer me to locally? Mm -hmm. Simple as that, right? Yeah. So, you know, start there. And then um, you and get the T-shirts made. And Can I can I pause you and ask a question? Because yep. I, yep. I, in my research of getting shirts designed, there's a couple of different types of it, right? So you can get it where they maybe there's different styles i'm sure i'm assuming that there's yes. different price points at different styles so what should somebody Absolutely. be looking for in a really great like partner for their t-shirt development so i would err on the side of going for a higher quality shirt um, because people want it to last you don't yeah. want it to just be like one of those marathon shirts that you wear for a day and then you just toss it right, right. i literally wear my shirt all the time i'll put a red cardigan over it leopard white Cute. Wear all the time of course yeah, you so do that's adorable <laughs> yes i love honestly the shirt that you gave me this girl power one this shirt is now my like summer staple I'm like, literally, you Yay! can dress it up. I like that it has a positive yes. message. Like, it does. Yes. It makes me feel like, oh, this is, like, today I'm wearing it with a blazer. You know, it's, like, yes. fun. Yeah, totally. Yeah, exactly. So you want to go to for versatility. You want to, yeah. you know, make sure. So, you know, make sure with, when you're thinking the colors and the message, you know, what are you going to go for and how are you going to make it so you can really sell it? Yes. Okay, because people want to wear it. Yeah. And not just again for one day and then toss it. So mm -hmm. again, I would go for a higher quality of shirt so it lasts. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then what was your other question? I'm sorry. Yeah. So what they're looking for in a t-shirt designer, like silk screen versus like iron oh. on, I don't know. What Do you know anything about yeah. what they should look for? I don't know all the specifics on that, but mm -hmm. I will say go for a professional, not just someone that does it on the side. Really, yeah. truly just go for a professional you know, spend a little bit of extra money because it will be worth an end to make your customers happy because then they'll refer people, you know, be like, they'll be like, hey, do you like this shirt? And they're like, yeah, I love it. I've washed it a million times. It lasts so much. You've got to get one too. Yeah. Versus, oh, I really wouldn't get one because it doesn't last. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you want to keep your customers happy so they keep coming back yes. and give you more referrals. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. So your t-shirts sell for around $20, $25, right? Yes. So yes. how much of that is able to go to the scholarship fund? So um, it depends on if you have to ship it or not, or if you have the right. shipping costs within that. Because sometimes I run a special while I give out free shipping. And that's just mm -hmm. my cost. Just, again, to really encourage people to get the shirts. Yeah. Um, 
So the average cost of the shirts, you want to keep it low. So you want to get at least 50% of your money back. So again, it just varies on your location and how much they're charging you for the shirt. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good advice. And you're right about the shipping. Do you have certain, um, because you mentioned that you also sell at craft uh, boutiques or something like that. Yeah. Um, which, like, where have you been the most successful? Has it been online and then you ship or has it been at those, uh, farmer's markets and bazaars and things like that? It's actually been on Facebook live, believe it or not. Um, really? You know, I like me some live video. Tell me about that. Yes. I just ask people to share as much as possible and, and then they share and then they share and then they share and then I get these orders either via private message or on my online um, empowerment through education.net website. So, so cool. and that's another thing is you want to, you know, you want to have someone be able to reach you. So I would recommend getting your own website. Yeah. So that would, that co- has a little bit of a cost, but there's plenty of options. Um, there's like gator.com, there's wix.com mm-hmm. where you can get your own website domain. And mm-hmm. I think it's like a hundred dollars a year or something. It's yeah. not, it's a low cost. Okay. So, right. but it's going to give people a way to get your story out there and be able to support your fundraiser. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what? You bring up a really interesting point, Jennifer, about fundraising, how sometimes when we think of fundraising, we think only about the making the money and we forget that there's this huge piece of investment that has to come first, right? Uh, Can you share a little bit about the other investments, you mentioned the website. What other investments did you have to make up front? And maybe you even are still making, like you mentioned, sometimes you cover the shipping costs and stuff. Uh, what other investments are involved if someone's considering this? What might they need to prepare for? Yeah, so again, it just depends if you partner with an organization that's willing to upfront you the money. I was actually didn't want to take away from that organization's cost. So I upfronted the money um, for the T-shirt cost. And so I would start low, just kind of, you know, dabble the water and see if people like your shirts or not, because you might have to revise and like change the color or change Mm -hmm. the design a little bit. Mm -hmm. So maybe just keep it low, maybe just a two hundred dollar investment in the shirts and then kind of go from there. Yeah, that's right. That's such a good good insight to just get started with what you can, Mm -hmm. you know, just so, so it sounds like, so you purchase the shirts from your provider so that you design them, you send it to them, you purchase it from them, and then you just go into sales mode. Sounds like. That's right. Just say, Hey, look, I get stopped all the time. Like, where did you get that shirt? I'm like, well, I designed them. I made them. Do you want one? Let me, let me connect you. It's so cool. And you know, I'm guessing that the reason that you probably are able to sell so many is because of the story that you share and because of the impact Mm -hmm. that these shirts are really having on so many kids that that scholarship money is is going to be multiplied once they use that for textbooks or for certifications or for application fees and things like that that they're able to take that next step and it's just such a cool experience to be a part of that you know to be a part of that you know not only do you get a cool shirt but you're also contributing to the lives of others, you know, it's so cool. And, and, you know, people do tend to want something tangible. You know, you could say, oh, you're donating to this and this cause. But if you say, hey, if you order my shirt, you know, all the proceeds go to the scholarship fund. And they're like, oh, well, then I want one. I I get to help someone, but I also get this amazing shirt. So, yeah, it's such a win win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious now, like, have had you done other or tried other fundraisers that maybe didn't work before you landed on this one? Or was this kind of just, it you just happened that you just knocked it out of the park right out the gate? Yeah. I, yeah. I honestly just got lucky, but I am starting a new one. Oh, say more. Virtual runs, oh, you know? Yeah. Oh, you can see it. I don't uh-huh. know. It's oh kind of whited out. It's yeah. It's so. whited out. Put your hand uh-huh. behind it. Put your hand behind it. Sometimes that helps. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Can we see it? Give it a minute to focus. Aha, I see it now. Oh, cool, yeah. So this is with that organization, bring it, push it, yes. on it. Mm. Yes, yes, so we're starting a virtual run to raise some funding for that too. Yeah, so. that's cool. I know the virtual runs right now are so wildly popular. Yeah, Yes. 
That's cool. Yeah, and you it just sounds like you've got the favor of God dripping all over you, girl, that you started this, that you just happen to be into fashion, you just happen to create cool designs, you just happen to have a friend who does t-shirt design, you just happen yeah. to, oh, it's just, it's favor all over it, you know, it this is the truly- Very blessed. Absolutely, yeah, and I want to honor you for that because it's the work yeah. that you are doing is, I mean, it's one thing to make it just sound good and it does sound good. You know, it sounds cool like, oh yeah, we're helping kids and it's going to be great. But truly when you think about the, the ripple effect of this impact that you're having, it is so major. It is, it is literally going to change generations as a result of this work that you are doing and by allowing us all to participate, by allowing us all to get a shirt and be able to participate in that ripple effect is just such an awesome thing. So I want to honor the fact that you're even doing this and that it's it's oh, it's you. being blessed because you're in alignment with it, you know? It's so well, cool. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah. I'm just I feel so very lucky and but I want to tell people it is hard work too, so don't don't be like, "Oh, it's just going to be easy easy." There is work involved, but okay. if your heart's in it and and God's calling you, you know, it will go go the way it should. hundred percent. Oh, I was just in a meeting earlier today where we talked about conviction and how every good work, everything that's like phenomenal requires that deep conviction. Like you're describing, like your heart has to be in it because you will always hit bumps in the road. Mm -hmm. You will, you will constantly be facing new challenges and your heart has to be in it or else you won't be able to break through those challenges. So that's awesome yeah. that that you have. Can you share a little bit because this is kind of my little, um, you know, for for the pageant ladies that are that are listening right now and watching. There's such a va valuable piece in pageantry to have some type of platform, but I know that this and you recently competed just a few weeks ago from today. Um, but this is something that you did not do just for the pageant. It's truly no. a part of who you are, right? Yes, absolutely. It's got to come within. It can't just be, oh, I need to do this because it looks good. Okay, no, it's, it's got to come from within. You have to have that drive and that love to give to others. So, so true. Yeah. yeah, especially to make the bigger impact, you know, as yes. you will. Yeah. What's your, what's your goal then to like your fundraising goal with the t-shirts? What would you love to hit? Oh, well, obviously, infinite would be yes. amazing, right? I know. Um, I would love it to be eventually something national yeah. where, you know, I could pick something like anyone from the United States or all over or multiple. Yes. I mean, it would just, it, that would be a dream come true. Oh, so Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. In fact, if anybody is listening, all of the listeners right now, if you're thinking like, I want a shirt and or I just want to support this initiative, buy your shirt from wherever you are, tag us, tag me, tag Jennifer in social media so that we can reshare it and and really to honor others that are participating too. Cause we absolutely, I absolutely will reshare. We'll be twinsies in our girl power shirts. <laughs> so yeah, please do purchase the shirt and and uh, help us out, help us grow. I would love to see in the next six months that we at minimum double the $1,500. Like I would oh, love to see think, if we could get I think three we'll grand in the next. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So for people that are listening that might have, let's say a boutique, or maybe somebody has an online store, an Etsy shop or something, and they're interesting, interested in partnering with you, what would be the best way for them to reach out to you to see if they can sell your shirts and participate with this? Um, you can reach out to me um, via the empowermentthroughducation.net website. There's a messaging system through that, or you can message me directly on um, Mrs. Fort Wayne 2020 on Facebook. Perfect. Um, so yeah, just completely reach out to me. I'd love to partner with Boutique. Yes, Yay. how fun would that be, right? Oh, yes. I would love to see these shirts like all over the world in Boutique everywhere. So far everywhere. it's California, Texas, North Carolina, Ohio and Indiana so far. Wow, cool. So far. Oh, yay. This is awesome. Oh, man, we need some New York City. We need some PA up in there. Yes, yes for sure. Yes. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. So um, I want to just say I'm going to put those links in the description on the podcast and the video um, so that people can mm -hmm. get access to those links so they can just click directly and make it easy for them to contact awesome. you um, and to follow you. 
Uh, Jennifer, thank you. Thank you so much for the work that you are doing in the world, for looking stunning, for making me look <laughs> stunning with my t-shirt. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Truly, Guys, for my everything. Girl's looking good. Yes, and I am just so delighted every time that I meet a pageant woman that has a bigger cause, you know, and working in the inner circle with you was such a delight to get to know you deeper, to really see this cause bloom and your heart story behind it is just so powerful that it's it's incredible to see the impact and it's only just begun, you know, this is just the beginning, the best is yet to come. Yes, I'm excited, hope so. Absolutely, my dear. Well, thank you again for sharing all of your thank awesome you. tips on the Win at Pageant podcast for all of our listeners. It's been awesome having you here. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you so much for having me. Isn't she an incredible human? I just think she is so delightful. If you are interested in getting in touch with Jennifer, I'm going to put all the links and things that she described in the description of this video and podcast episode. So check it out. And if you are wanting to win your pageant by coming up with some creative, cool new thing, we call it a legacy project because it requires you to get started but it's a legacy even without you. If you're interested in that for your pageant, reach out to me and you can always find me at winapageant.com. I'll see you there.